So when I compare it from the time I was in Sydney, it's zero. But the time I came here, I get things in my life which can help me in the future. There are 160 people within the community who get emails from time to time. And we call ourselves the friends and tutors because that's what we are. We are friends and we help with tutoring. Tutoring is usually with driving or English computer and we give a bit of assistance with things like sport or music and the other thing we do is when new families come to town we allocate a community person as a as a family mentor to help orientate people to the infant welfare system the the schools the support networks so we try and bridge the gap immediately i was lucky not to be kidnapped when i, I ran away because the village was being attacked and the house has been burned. So I was being separated from the, my parents. So my parents, they were run alone and then I ran alone. And you were nine years old? Nine years old. So we were just moved from there. And that journey from our, our region to Ethiopia was taken three months on the way. So. And you were walking all the way? Yeah. Now... I'm very happy because there is a change in, happening in my life because it's good to be happy. One lovely way that I think of it is the reaction the Sudanese had coming from Melbourne for a Boxing Day event where the Sudanese locally had raised from amongst factory workers $5,000 and they put on a day providing food and music and dance and choirs all in the Sudanese culture to say thank you to everyone for everything in Castlemaine. And when the Sudanese came in Castlemaine and they said, ah, now we know what's happening in Castlemaine. When we see Sudanese in Melbourne, we have 800 Sudanese and maybe five people who are not Africans. When we come to Castlemaine, we see there are 600 people, 300 are white people, 300 are black people, and everyone is mixing. So now I'm very happy here because past thing if you see how your life is, and if your life is comfortable, you will be happy.